G'day, it's Jono Wong here. It has been a long time since I made a YouTube video. I have a lot of footage uh, stockpiled up to make videos for, uh, especially when it comes to building my shipping container house. Uh, I'm actually here in the central coast now uh, with Tonks, the neighbor's dog. If you've been following me on Instagram, you see I've been skating a little bit more, which has been really fun. I have built a small janky rail. I built a longer rail. And today I'm gonna to build a manual pad slash ledge uh, that I can, you know, make really small or slightly taller with legs or even angle it and do lots of things uh, for, yeah, my learning progression in skateboarding. And these are the materials for building this little manual pad. Film face plywood by Specrite. It's two, 400 by 600 by 17 mils. Uh, it's not structural, but that's okay because I just really like the, the surface of this. It looks nice and smooth. Uh, and then I got some um, non-structural studs as well. They're a bit, um, a bit janky as well, like bits from the end of the tree or they're, you know, chipped off a little bit, but that's okay. It's cheap. So um, yeah, they're 550 a stick. Uh, and so it's pretty simple construction today. Um, just going to make some braces that go across. Uh, and I also got some, it's a very thin piece of angled steel. I'm uh, pretty sure it's galvanized. Uh, it was about 16 bucks. I really don't know if it's going to be thick enough to do the job, but um, the idea of this project was to be super cheap. <laughs> so, um, yes, I, even though I do have more money these days, uh, because Kylie and I are both working, I'd still always like to do things on the cheap. So, um, yeah, just gonna get into it. Uh, just got some screwing and cutting to do, really. Alright, so I decided to put the cross braces in uh, every 400 millimeters. Uh, it's kind of similar to what you would do in, I guess, general construction in Australia uh, for walls. I mean, sometimes they'll go a bit further, maybe in the roof or when it's not uh, made for standing on. But um, I mean, I could have done every 600, but I feel like, yeah, I want this thing to be strong enough and, you know, these sticks aren't very expensive, so uh, no dramas there. All right, start screwing. All right, so I only put a single screw close to the bottom all the way along uh, because I'm gonna put screws on the top going down this way. It'll kind of cross brace it with screw action that way. Uh, but yeah, it's um, coming along pretty good. I think it's going to work. So I didn't think I had that much steel to play with, but when you use the countersink tool, you actually do get a fair bit of material to hang on to. So that's almost flush. I could go probably a little bit further, but um, we'll see what happens because I can always take this out and do a bit more. Yeah, happy. Cool, just gonna do a few more. And then, um, yeah, I might do some close-up shots of the uh, countersinking process because it's not something that um, everyone does all the time for steel. Uh, really does help if you have a uh, a big drill bit so this is uh, probably an eight mil drill bit and then i've got the countersink tool which gets really hot i think i'm going to need some um some uh, wd-40 or cutting compound to keep it cool but um 
yeah, after you've used this one, don't touch it with your fingers without gloves. Um, yeah, got really hot. So I've got it clamped down so it's nice and flush. I'm going about a centimeter, a little bit more than that from the bottom of the coping. Just gonna pre-drill. So that's that one done. And then I've been using this piece just to make it wide. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, flat battery. Okay, give me a sec. Alright, found my spare battery, but um, I don't think it's going to last very long. It's only got a half charge. Whoa, my ears. See if the screw has almost about a millimeter, half a millimeter around it, that means it's wide enough. And I switch over to the countersink bit and it just, make, oops, just makes it a bit deeper. Alright, looks pretty good. Let's give it a test. Ooh! Nice. Alright, and that's pretty flush. All right, it's done. I'm pretty hyped actually. It looks like it's gonna be heaps of fun. So um, yeah, gonna warm up and skate it. That was awesome. So that worked out way better than expected. I managed to get uh, front side 50-50, front side 5-0, sort of like these, I, I think you call them a salad. Uh, ollie manual, or just manual, uh, and some nose slides. All the things that I'm pretty consistent on with a little mani pad, a little edge. Um, yeah, everything's holding up really well. So, so I'm super keen to learn some new tricks. And now that I've got this, uh, this is obviously level one. Um, I'll be able to stack it up, so I'm going to make some little legs for this thing as well uh, so we can raise it up, or I can raise it up um, to the next level and kind of keep raising it up 
because uh, like I said, those sticks are for, you know, 550 a length. There's, I can make just a whole bunch of legs and keep raising it up. So yeah, I will really want to learn how to um, crook. I want to learn how to smith and I want to learn how to feeble on the ledge. Uh, I want to get a Ollie nose manual. I don't think I've ever really done one this long before. So yeah, and then, you know, things like flip ins and outs eventually. Um, but I got to get my flip tricks up to scratch first, but then, you know, 180s out in and, um, you know, shove it and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, super stoked, worked out really well. Um, well, technically came out better than I expected. Uh, but yeah, happy. So while I got you here, uh, yeah, haven't really been doing much filming. Um, well, haven't done a lot of editing, I uh, haven't had the time, but um, I've got a whole bunch of footage for my shipping container house build uh, back up in Queensland, which was, you know, over the last year, years worth of footage to put together. If you like container house projects, uh, yeah, stay tuned to this channel and I'll be uploading them when I get them done. It pretty much is the whole second half of our container house build, so the kitchen and the living room. A lot more simple than the first side, which was the study, bathroom, toilet, and bedroom. Stay tuned uh, if you want to watch that. And if you like these sort of videos, uh, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, maybe some tricks that I should try. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.